Hello dear friends, this is video number 11 in a series of videos about standards for constructing and equipping new healthcare facility. For more videos, please visit my Facebook page, Healthcare Quality, and my YouTube channel, Dr. Hassan Kamel. The sources of these standards were discussed in the first video. I'll be very happy to answer questions from your side. If you like it, please support me with likes and follow. In this video, we will talk about nuclear medicine standards. Nuclear medicine may include positron emission tomography, which is not common to most facilities. It requires specialized planning for equipment. Number one, a certified physicist or other qualified expert representing the owner shall specify the type, location, and amount of radiation protection to be installed in accordance with final approved department layout and equipment selection. Number two, floors and walls should be constructed of materials that are easily decontaminated in case of radioactive spills. Ceiling may be higher than two and a half meters. Number three, the nuclear medicine room shall accommodate the equipment, stretcher, exercise equipment, for example, treadmill or bicycle and stuff. Number four, if radiopharmacy preparation is performed on site, an area adequate to house radiopharmacy shall be provided with appropriate shielding. Positron emission tomography bed standards. Nuclear medicine area, when operated separately from the imaging department, shall include the following. Number one, space shall be adequate to permit entry of stretchers, beds, and able to accommodate imaging equipment, electronic consoles, and if present, computer terminals. Number two, when the functional program requires a centralized computer area, it should be a separate room with access terminals available within the imaging rooms. Number three, provisions for cleanup shall be located within the suit for convenient access and use. It shall include service sink or floor receptacle as well as storage space for equipment and supplies. Number four, a consultation area with view boxes illuminated to provide light of the same color, value, and intensity for appropriate comparison of several adjacent films shall be provided. Space should be provided for computer access and display terminals if such are included in the program. Number five, offices for physicians and assistants shall be provided. Number six, clerical offices and spaces shall be provided as necessary. Number seven, waiting areas. Number eight, a dose administration area shall provide for visual privacy from other areas. Thought should be given to entertainment and reading materials. Number nine, a holding area for patients on stretchers or beds shall be provided out of traffic 
and may be combined with the dose administration area with visual privacy between the areas. Number 10, patient dressing room shall be provided convenient to the waiting area and the procedure rooms. Each dressing room shall include a seat or bench, a mirror, and, and provision for hanging patient's clothing and for securing valuables. Number 11, toilet rooms shall be provided convenient to waiting and procedure rooms. Number 12, staff toilets. Number 13, hand washing facilities. Number 14, control desk and reception area shall be provided. Number 15, separate clean and soil storage areas. Radiotherapy suit standards. Number one, cobalt linear accelerators and simultaneous rooms require radiation protection. Number two, the ceiling height is normally higher than 2.5 meters. General support area standards. The following areas shall be provided unless they are accessible from other areas such as imaging or OPD. Number one, stretcher holding area adjacent to the treatment rooms screened for privacy and combined with a seating area for outpatients. Number two, exam rooms for each treatment room as specified by the functional program. Each exam room to be a minimum of 9.3 square meters. Each exam room shall be equipped with a hand washing facility. Number three, dark room convenient to the treatment rooms and the quality control area. Where daylight processing is used, the dark room may be minimal for emergency use. If automatic film processors are used, a receptacle for adequate size with hot and cold water for cleaning the processor racks shall be provided either in the dark room or nearby. Optimal support areas standards. One, quality control area with view boxes. Two, computer control area normally located just outside the entry of the treatment room. Number three, dosimetry equipment area. Number four, hypothermia room. Number five, consultation room. Number six, treatment planning and record room. Number seven, workstation, nutrition station. Additional support areas for linear accelerators. One, mold room with exhaust hood and hand washing facility. Number two, Block room with storage. Additional support area for cobalt room. Hot lab. Thank you.